Delicious homemade hamburgers and french fries. This is one of my kids' favorite meals. Now to get started, I'm going to peel two potatoes. I like to use one medium to large potato as one serving of fries. So I'm doing two servings today. So all I'm going to do is peel my potatoes. Then I'm going to hand cut them. And of course, they're not going to be even, but I like to think that it gives it character and that homey touch to a nice homemade french fry. So here we go. Now that my potatoes are peeled, I am going to give them a quick rinse and then I'm going to hand cut them. And here I'm going to also place them in ice cold water. Soaking them in the ice cold water will help get rid of some of the starch, which will also help in the frying process to get a crispy french fry. And it also stops the potato from oxidizing and turning brown. Now all of my potatoes are cut. I am going to let them soak in the ice water until my oil comes up to temperature. Now that my oil is up to temperature, I am going to drain all of this water, give it a quick rinse in cold water, and now I am going to pat them dry on a lined baking sheet with paper towels. After I pat dry all of my potatoes to make sure they are as dry as possible, I am actually going to blanch them in oil. Now, if you want an exact temperature to blanch your french fries, technically it's frying at a lower heat. You want your fry oil to be around 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you know my type of cooking and if you've seen my videos, I normally don't take the temperature of my oil. I just toss in a fry. If it floats and it starts frying, then I'm good to go. But for those of you that want an exact temperature, keep it at around 300 to 320 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to be cooking these for around three to five minutes. And at this point, you're not going to get a golden brown color on your french fries. You're just trying to cook the potato. And after I pull them out of the oil, I'm going to place them on a lined baking sheet with paper towels. And I'm also going to pat dry the tops of the french fries to get rid of some of that residual oil. And I'm actually going to go ahead and leave the paper towels on top of the french fries, let them cool off and come to room temperature on the counter and then put them in my freezer. And this will conveniently allow me to start working on the burgers and then finish off the french fries later to have a nice hot meal. Now I'm going to make a sauce. This is optional because actually I'm a more of a mustard and 
lots of pepper kind of gal when it comes to saucing my burgers. But my family likes this sauce. This is a typical hamburger or sandwich spread sauce. So I'm going to take a half cup of mayo, two tablespoons of spicy brown mustard, two tablespoons of chopped dill pickles, one tablespoon of ketchup, a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of paprika. I'm going to mix it all up and place it in the fridge until later use. Okay, so that goes into the fridge and now on to my hamburgers. So I have one pound of lean ground beef. I'm actually going to be using the 85-15 ratio of lean beef to fat. I think 80-20 would just be too fatty for the hamburger. So this is a good ratio, I believe. And now all I'm going to do is just place my hamburger meat in a bowl and I'm just going to season it with around a teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of cracked black pepper. Actually, it is to your taste if you want more or less, and you can add other seasonings like garlic powder, onion powder, or even Cajun seasoning, or whatever you have in your home that you like. And now I'm just going to give it a, a mix, and you don't want to overwork your hamburger meat. You just wanna make sure you mix in the salt and pepper. And then I'm just going to divide it into four balls. And this is what I'm going to press my patties. These are going to be hand-formed patties that I find that easiest. And I'm not gonna press them out completely. I'm just going to make sure I divide them into four patties in the bowl until I'm ready to start cooking them. I'm going to be making this on my griddle. You can just as easily use a pan on the stove. And I have it preheated to around between 350 and 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to make two with onions and I'm just going to press thinly sliced onion into my hand form patty because I like to actually grill the onion. But you can leave it without. I'm going to leave two without onion for my kids. I will also add, the meat will shrink down because it does have fat in it, but you could also add some breadcrumbs to your hamburger patties that will help keep a larger patty, but I don't mind that it shrinks. It's enough for me, but that is something to think about. And also, once I give my patties a flip, I am actually going to toast some hamburger buns right on the griddle, and that is definitely optional. It is up to you, but I'll be honest. I love a nice toasty hamburger bun. The texture is just wonderful. So now that my hamburger patties are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and start preheating my oil. And I'm going to do the second fry of my french fries. And it's almost time to eat.
Okay, so for the second fry, I am going to bring the temperature up to around 350 to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is how we are going to achieve a crispy exterior to the French fry. And because we basically cooked the French fry in the middle during the blanching process, this is only going to take one or two minutes to achieve the color and the texture that you desire as far as a crispy French fry. Once I remove all of the french fries from the oil, I am going to sprinkle them with salt, and that is it. This is the perfect homemade french fry. It's tender and crispy all at the same time. Now let's get our burgers going. I cannot wait to dig in. This is a very simple but delicious homemade hamburger and french fries combo, and my kid loves it. As always, the recipe will be listed in the description box below. So I hope you give this recipe a try, I hope you like it, and thanks for watching! Hey guys! Click on the video icons for more recipes, or you can click on my picture icon to subscribe. Thanks for watching!